Yo, what's good y'all? So if y'all watched my last video, I had just got the Canon R5 and I kind of just wanted to go out and shoot some content with it like I normally would. And it wasn't necessarily a technical test. It was more so me just excited to have the camera and I wanted to test it out. But today I want to get a little bit more technical and see if the R5 will overheat in that 4K HQ mode with the Atomos Ninja 5. Since pretty much this is the main mode I'm going to be using in long stretches, aside from the 4K 60s and, you know, small segments. So this is just going to be an indoor test, and I have the temperature right now set to 76 degrees. And with this test, there will be no SD card or CF Express card in the camera. And on my last video, I had a comment, someone said I should also turn off the screen to prevent it from overheating. So I have it set to where the screen will shut off after about a minute. And I watched another video where someone else did this test, and I think they said they recorded it for two hours or longer longer than two hours but for me if it reaches the one hour mark I'll just stop the test there because at that point I think it's safe to say you'll be set and at least for me the only time I'm recording for that long in one clip is these YouTube videos but anyway let's get to the test Just my two cents. Now based on how the camera functions and how it overheats and how it cools down, I can't help but feel like it's not necessarily limited by heat, but rather some sort of internal timer that's been implemented into the camera. And there's been other like videos and threads, I guess, that talk about the same issue and pretty much have the same conclusion. Um, but if that is the case, you know, it's crazy that Canon would cripple their own cameras, you know, but the good thing about it is There should be a future firmware update that can ease up on the restrictions and um, Hopefully that will be coming sooner rather than later Another thing I forgot to mention from the last video is how difficult it actually is to edit the footage that comes internally from the R5. And I've seen people say they have the most specced out Macs and PCs and it still struggles with this codec, which is unfortunate. You know, it's another step in the editing process to have to make proxies to edit it, but I think the end result is worth it. But on the other hand, if you have the Ninja 5, then you don't have to worry about that. So the Ninja 5 is definitely worth having right now if you do have the R5. So to the person who commented on my last video to turn the screen off to avoid overheating issues, I think you're right. And I think that's why I ran into problems the first time I used it with the Ninja 5 in the 4K HQ mode because I left the screen on. So you have to take out the CF Express card and turn the screen off to avoid those overheating issues. So there you have it, we reached the hour mark and I wasn't getting any overheating symbols on the camera. Um, so it's safe to assume that if you have the Ninja 5 and you take out the CF Express card and turn the screen off, you shouldn't have any overheating issues. I even took the R5 out a couple days ago and shot a whole music video with it using the Ninja 5, no CF Express card and having the screen off and I didn't have any overheating problems. So that's a good sign. So this video was just something I wanted to do to address this and really see for myself. There's a lot more R5 content that I want to put together. I want to do a low light test soon. I want to do a short film, but that's something that's going to take some sitting down and planning. But hopefully I can put that together soon. If you guys enjoy it, go ahead and drop this a like. Jump down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It only takes a second and I will catch you guys real soon in my next one. Peace.